I was wrong about My Hero Academia. Before I go any further, I think it's only right to apologize, because Horikoshi surprised me with this revelation that we got with the newest chapter of My Hero Academia. To give some context here, okay, the chapter is not officially out at this point, and what I'm kind of talking about is the chapter with the spoilers and stuff and all that that's been coming out, and it clarifies how long My Hero Academia is going to be going on for. For instance, about a week and a half ago, I made a video talking about My Hero Academia and how there's probably like five to six chapters left, because it's like, with Shigaraki's defeat in the previous chapter, him disintegrating into nothing, the battle being over, so to speak, all for one being dealt with, one for all being gone as well, you know, it basically was saying, yeah, the series is, it's done, it, it, it's over, because it's like, what is there really left besides, like, a brief little epilogue? And, in a way, I'm not entirely wrong, because obviously we are getting into that, because, like, this statement right here basically does mention the fact that we are getting a brief epilogue, but it's not going to be short. And I think that, honestly, th that makes me very happy for a few reasons. For one, we're going to get closure for basically all of our characters. For instance, we're going to probably get to see all of our main cast of heroes seeing what they do next and potentially how the world reacts to the end of this supervillain that was All for One and Shigaraki. You know, what kind of impact and effect it will have on villains going on afterwards, heroes as well, the rebuilding of Japan after the events of My Hero Academia, and just how the world reacts to it in its entirety, and potentially set up for maybe some form of sequel bait as well. So overall, there is a lot going on here with the final chapter, but Horikoshi basically saying that normal writing of stories, when it comes to conclusions, it should be short, but he says this is not that type of manga or story, I think is very fitting, because it's clear that Horikoshi has a lot that he wants to say. He just, you know, wants to get it out there, and I I'm glad he's just being straight up. He's like, look, you know, we are in the epilogue of the story now, like the main fight is over, but now it's just more tying up loose ends. And I think that in reality, this is a good thing. Because at this point in time, if the series would have just wrapped up, like in four chapters, I feel like it would have been met with a lot of negative reaction. I'm not saying it would be awful, like a, a 1 out of 10 or whatever. I'm just saying that a lot of people I feel would be unsatisfied because of just how there's so much more that could be tackled in or, you know, kind of explained before the series is fully wrapped up. So the fact that Horikoshi admits in the chapter that, you know, even though it is the epilogue, it's continuing, good news overall. Absolutely fantastic. Now, with that being said, there is something I want to show you, which is a spoiler leak image, so just going to show that real quick, just giving some, you know, a disclaimer before I go any further, but, uh, Izuku, or Deku, he has a new haircut, and this is... <laughs> okay. Obviously, this is gaining a lot of traction. You have people already making fan art of Izuku, and it, 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 it's very apparent what people are basically saying. That this haircut a lot of people are liking, a lot of people are not liking. It's a big back and forth thing I've been seeing from a lot of different people since the leaks came out earlier this morning. If you want my personal opinion, I don't think it's bad, and I think one of the big reasons for that is because the damage that Izuku sustained in his fight against Shigaraki. I mean, it's very apparent just by the way this image is. I mean, look very closely. You'll see a scar on Izuku. Izuku's forehead, he has messed up cheek as well, and if you remember in his fight with Shigaraki, he took a big gash right in his forehead and all that in the side of his head, and that's something that's really deep, it's gonna need surgery, and that's obviously what happened here, is that, you know, he was put under surgery, he had to get probably the hair shaved where they could operate on him, probably stitch his bones back together, so to speak, you know, stuff like that, so in reality, the shaved head isn't a new permanent hairstyle for Izuku, it's more or less that he had to have his hair shaved because of surgery, and it's little details like this that add a lot more to the character and a lot to the world, and I appreciate this type of stuff, because I know people will be quick to really throw Horikoshi's design decision for Izuku under the bus, but I think that this is good, a good decision, because it shows the weight of the aftermath of the fight. Obviously, I still, at this point in time, my opinion on everything, I felt like, you know, there should have been a lot more loss on the hero side, but obviously that's said and done, nothing can change that, it's, it's over, it's just like, obviously the fight's done now, we're, we're in the epilogue, so I'm just gonna 
shove that to the side because it just it doesn't matter no more. It really doesn't. I can harp on that, complain about that until I'm blue in the face, but it's not going to change what is done already. So getting into the main meat of it, one thing that I've always liked about Horikoshi is when he does show the effects on a hero's body from them pushing themselves too hard. We've seen it through All Might, we've seen it through Miracle, we've seen it from Endeavor, y you get the point. We have seen characters push themselves and have these negative effects to their body, and that is exactly the case with Izuku, because at this point in time, from these early spoiler slash leaks, Izuku is quirkless. He has nothing anymore. Like, he does not have one for all. The only thing he has left in him is like little embers, so to speak, just the, 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 uh, the embers from the previous, you know, before he gave it up, so to speak. It's kind of like what All Might had for a while. So, for the most part, Izuku now is powerless. He is pretty much now in the same spotlight as how All Might was, and I'm curious to see what role Izuku will play within the story, because obviously now that he's quirkless, what's his objective going to be? Is he going to still try to be a hero, and he's going to be like some form of Batman-type like guy? Is he going to become a police officer, a firefighter? There's a lot of different things, and I just, I'm curious to see the decision that Izuku as a character will make going forward. Now, with that being said as well, we also got to talk about Bakugo. So, Bakugo and Izuku apparently had a moment in the hospital. They, you know, had a brief little moment where, like, they were happy each other was a-okay, and once again, I'm not going to get into my personal thoughts of Bakugo being around still. It is a very nice moment seeing them kind of have a close moment of friendship and saying, like, you know, everything's okay, and obviously, at this point in time, since Izuku now technically has to step down, Bakugo is, by default, basically going to be the next number one hero, which just it's by default. It, it, it's kind of like what happened with Endeavor. It's like, you know, All Might stepped down, so obviously instantly Endeavor became the number one hero. That's basically what's going to happen with Bakugo, is that, yeah, who, who's Bakugo going to compete with? Pretty much all the heroes are manhandled to death and back, you know, from the fight. So it's just like, yeah. Now, um, anyways... Overall, if I had to take an educated guess now, since we have this information that the story isn't apparently going to be ending in five chapters, I'm judging that probably we're looking at maybe 20, 30 chapters left. I, I would, if I had to assume anything, the series would probably wrap up by the end of the year. I would say around maybe August or September of this year. My Hero Academia will probably wrap itself up, or it'll announce its ending around its anniversary date back in July. I believe it started in July 10th or whatever, uh, in like 2016 or whatever, or no, 2014. Yeah, 2014. Holy crap, it's such an old series now. But like, you know, My Hero Academia is such an old show, like, or manga, like 10 years old at this point now. I feel like if there's going to be an announcement for when it's going to end now at this point, since it wasn't here, it's going to be announced on its anniversary date, probably around in July. So... I just want to let everybody know. So we got it probably about, let's see here. It is the end of May. This is the last chapter for May. Uh, we're looking at like another four chapters, I would say, until we have a potential announcement. So it would probably be around 10, 15 chapters at the earliest, I'd say the series would end. But uh, yeah, overall, it's, it's crazy to think that My Hero Academia really has entered its conclusion of the story. It, it's, it's literally coming to an end, and as much as I've had a lot of ups and downs and negative and positive feelings from the show, it has really been a big part of my life for the last 10 years. I mean, I remember the first time I laid eyes upon My Hero Academia years ago. Like, I was, I remember, I was actually on Facebook, active on Facebook, Facebook, and I remember someone sending me a link and just images of My Hero Academia's first three chapters before they were not, like, before they were even translated. Like, it was not even officially translated by Viz Media, by any official company. It was releasing in the Shonen Jump magazine. Like, Viz Media really didn't exist in the form it currently is, you know, with the, the legal releases, etc. Obviously, no one was picking it up because it was a relatively new manga, so it was just like, the only way you were able to see it at the time was just looking at the raw images, and I remember looking at the raw images for the first time for My Hero Academia, and I was blown away by Horikoshi Sensei's art style, because for its time period, and even to this day, it is honestly a stunning piece of work. You can say whatever you want about his quality of writing, or however you feel about it, you're not gonna tell me straight to the face, 
without joking and lying for your teeth that the artwork of My Hero Academia is bad. He does some really good freaking artwork for his manga. And ever since his beginning to where he's at now, he's only evolved his art style and it's only gotten better. And I remember when I first saw it, I was like, man, this, this has the art style of like a comic. And obviously he plays a lot of homages to comics. He loves comics. He loves Spider-Man, etc. So it just, when it first came out, I remember the emotions I felt, how awesome it was and theories that potentially the story could go. It was such an interesting time period and to just to see where we're at now, 400 chapters deep. It's just crazy how much the series has evolved and changed since it first started. And, you know, I do hope that overall, when the series does come to an end, like when My Hero Academia finally has the last page and it closes its book forever, if there isn't a sequel, so to speak, I'm assuming there will be. There will definitely be some form of spinoffs or sequel. It's just it's too popular of a series. Um, I do hope that Horikoshi writes a new series and, you know, he's... You know, he, he does something that he's really passionate about. I, I, it's clear that he loves heroes and stuff, and he made this series a product of its time. For instance, when My Hero first began, heroes were really starting to blow up in popularity. It's before the now craze of Marvel and DC and stuff, because nowadays everybody knows what Marvel is, everybody knows what DC is, and back in 2014, yeah, there was a slight few that watched Marvel, like you watched Avengers and stuff, like the original Avengers and some Iron Man movies, but we didn't have all the crazy stuff we have nowadays, and it's just like the evolution of it. It's like My Hero came in to a time period that was perfect for its environment, and it's evolved to that point to where it's at now. It's just interesting. But, uh, yeah, I, I wanted to talk about this. Just, uh, it's crazy to think that My Hero Academia is legitimately wrapping itself up. We are actually in, no pun intended, the end game now. We are actually in the finale. <sighs> it's gonna be sad to see, see it actually wrap up. I, as much as I have some negative feelings towards it, I do have a lot of great moments with this. And I remember it for many moments that brought me happiness. And so it's going to be sad when I finally see the conclusion of this. But uh, yeah, I, I, I want to talk about that. The, the chapter leaks that came out and stuff. But uh, be safe, stay healthy, and I love you guys. Chibi out.